This is Master Geo here at the second day of New York Comic Con 2016 with the creator, Lady Death, Brian Polito. How you doing, Brian? I'm killer, man. How you doing? Good, good. How's New York Comic Con been treating you? New York Comic Con's ridiculous. We got in late, we got up early, we got set up yesterday, record breaking. It's ridiculous. So when did you get into art? Oh my gosh, when did I get into art? I think ever since I was a child, that would be in the 60s, where I kind of recognized people make this stuff. You know, I was seeing stuff like the movies Night of the Living Dead and seeing comic books, and that's the sort of thing that got me excited at a very young age. Was that like your influence? I think my influence was going to flea markets and seeing comic books, everything from Richie Rich, Archie, Marvel Monsters. That stuff would be very exciting to me when I was a kid. Where did the idea Lady Death come from? Let's see, the idea of Lady Death, it must have been around 1987, 1988, and I decided that I would make the comic books that I always wanted to see, but never saw. So if you go back to that time, that was the era of thrash metal. And I know that the influence and in how I arrived at Lady Death sounds very strange, but I would look at the body type of Anne Margaret or Barbarella, and I was looking at the horror hostess Vampira, and I liked the look, but I thought, you know, we'd see a lot of ladies like Morticia Adams or Vampira, but they didn't take the the idea of pale death all the way. So I knocked out the from black hair to white, from eyeballs to no eyeballs. But then I was also influenced by heavy metal of the time. You can imagine Tony Katane in the White Snake video. So hence the giant hair and the voluptuous nature. So in terms of her look, that's some of the influences to the look. In terms of the attitude, take no prisoners, kick ass, was sort of a reflection of my upbringing where I felt that mostly my mom and my sister kind of ran the show at the home. My, my dad was a great guy, he was just not around as much because he was working all the time. So it wasn't unusual for me to see women in leadership roles. So I think that's some of the uh, ingredients of the recipe of the character. So what's the character up to re lately? So lately, since January of 2015, Lady Death has been published by my new company, Coffin Comics. So Coffin Comics, in the most recent storylines, Lady Death has woken up out of a 20-year spell, and she's in hell, and she's out to find out who did this to her and why. So this Lady Death is uh, more inspired by a Judge Dredd megacity hellscape, the action mythos of things like uh, Mad Max Fury Road. So we're not set in medieval times anymore. It's very contemporary action horror lands landscape. Which is the latest issue? The latest issue that'll be available in comic shops is called Lady Death Extinction Express. But the very latest issue that's available via, via Kickstarter is called uh, Oblivion Kiss. So we're now doing comic books in chapter format, square bound, 48 page. So we have four new stories out, and they're all about 48 pages a piece. And where, where uh, on Kickstarter could we find you? Well, let's see. The best way to navigate us is to go to LadyDeathUniverse.com, and from there we have links to our Kickstarter, our store, and all our other activities. Uh, I know you're a big metalhead. Uh, what, do you listen to anything when you're uh, working on your comics? I do. I, in particular, recently for the new Lady Death run, I've been listening to Arch Enemy. Uh, in particular, and I'm listening to metal all the time. So I've been going through a, another re-love affair with Slayer for the last couple of years. I really liked their last two records, World Painted Blood and Repentless. I think they're great. I never miss a chance to meet them. I've also been really enjoying Ghost, and I've seen them seven times. I'm going to see them two more times later this month. So I've been enjoying Ghost. Let's see, what else have I been enjoying? Yeah, I know that particularly Arch Enemy was uh, influencing Lady Death. I, I like the structure, the grandiosity, and please understand that I am from an era of metal, I mean as far as late 70s into 80s, new age of British heavy metal, thrash, so I like chorus, I like melody, I like, a, uh, like particularly with Judas Priest, I like a chorus I could really hang my hat on, you know, I like to sing along, metal gods, so if I can get that in my contemporary metal, I like that too. So, yeah, all metal all the time, and, and punk, and classic rock. And since I'm a music fan, I've been also, guys, I've been going through this 70s soul thing. I've been listening to a lot of Marvin Gaye, and I know it's different for metalheads, but 
I realize it's kind of the backdrop of what I grew up on, you know, Sly and the Family Stone, Marvin Gaye, <laughs> that kind of stuff. This is, it's interesting because I did read a, uh, I think I, no, I saw a Tom Araya interview where he says his melodic vocals comes from listening to a lot of I can soul and, and whatnot. Oh, it's so fascinating when you start getting nerdy about all those metal heroes and you learn that so many of them are influenced by jazz and blues. I mean, if you think about it, you look at Slayer in particular, you're seeing a lot of jazz and punk influence. Right, definitely. Yeah. Uh, well, since you mentioned uh, punk, what do you think of the Misfits getting back together? Well, I'll tell you, I was there at Riot oh, Fest in was Chicago. It? it was the best, dude. Come on, it was great. It was like the Super Bowl of rock. I had to be there. I live in Arizona, but I flew out with some friends and met up with about a dozen friends, and I had to be there. To me, like, the Super Bowl is the Super Bowl. This was the Super Bowl of horror rock. Obviously, had to be there. It was a blast. We had a great time. That whole Riot Fest was ridiculously awesome. Uh, and seeing Misfits together, that particular iteration was, it was incredible. It was like, you know, a little piece of hell on earth for a night. Awesome, awesome. A little bit jealous. Awesome. Man. You should be jealous. I was there. <laughs> Fucking awesome. All right, man. Any final words? Hey, man, you guys have been great. I've been Brian Plito. Check me out on LadyDeathUniverse.com. Holler at you later.